it's time to open two more rolls. I'm just gonna show you all the enders at once though. This one I'll get a date on. And then we got a 2015 and a 2006. Over here on these two, we have a 1980. I think we wanted to update, upgrade the 1980. On this one, we have a 1984, it looks like. 1994. So let's open this real first. Nothing looks super special in there other than this very new coin, which is a 2020. All right, there was nothing from the 60s or older in that first roll that we opened, but is there anything in here? This one here looks good. It is a 1953, heavily damaged though, but I think we need the 53, don't we? We need the 53 Philadelphia and San Francisco. We got a 1965 Philadelphia. We got a 1962 Philadelphia. We do need the 62 Philadelphia, so that's going to be an addition. I'm going to go to these, and I'll be right back with the books. All right, in this book, we have one addition, and that addition is... The 1953 Philadelphia. In this book, we only have one edition, and that edition is the 1962 Philadelphia. All right, time to open two more rolls. Before I do, though, I find it kind of odd that we have not found a 1981 Denver. We found the 81 Philadelphia, and we found the, eight, the 1982 Philadelphia that has less minted than the 81 Denver. So I'm kind of surprised. You can see the one below it, the 1979 Denver, slightly lower mint than the 81, but we haven't found the 81 yet. Hopefully, it's in one of these two rules, and I already showed you the enders of those two. Hopefully, we have some upgrades or additions to the book. We got a 1964 Denver. We got another 1964 Philadelphia. We got a 1940 Philadelphia. I think we might actually need a 1940. We do need a 1940. A 1940 PDNS. This is a 1965 Philadelphia. We have a reverse Denver there. It's a 1940 Denver. We just got a 1940 Philadelphia. We have the 1940 Philadelphia and Denver. Then we got a 1964 Denver. We got a 1962 Denver. Wow. This is a really good condition 64. I don't really want to replace the one they have in the book. All right. So I'm going to hunt through this roll. Very surprised I got a 1940 Philadelphia and Denver. But I'll hunt through this roll. I'll be right back with the recap. In this album, we have two editions. It's kind of interesting. From one rule, we got the 1940 and the 1940 Denver. Which is kind of interesting. There's a 1940 Denver has 43 million minted. And the 1940 Philadelphia has 176 million minted. So I don't know if this is a collection dump. It's kind of too early to tell. But it's kind of weird how we got that one and that one so early on. I went through like two other nickel boxes and I only found one of those before. So I still have more coins to look at to put in the next book. 
So I'll be right back with that. We have no additions for this book. But I just thought I should let you know, I thought we got the 1981 Denver, but it's the 1981 Philadelphia that looks like it might be a D over P or a P over D. I can kind of see the D mint mark, but I can see the P much more than the D. So it might just be damaged, but I am going to be saving it for right now.